Alrighty, in this section of the hunt for buzz and hum, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of a high octane amplifier that has snubbers across, installed across the high voltage rectifier diodes. These snubbers are 100N ceramic capacitor in series with a 500 ohm resistor. Okay, first we'll look at the high voltage supplying anode resistors. Try to get my probe again to work. There we go. Now, what we see here is it's jumping around. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. It might be radio interference. Uh, it's on the uh, scope's on the most sensitive setting. One millivolt per division. We can see a little ripple in the power right when the current is flowing into the first capacitor from the rectifier, first filter capacitor. That's about what I would expect to see, but that that is about. Uh, 0 0.2 millivolts of ripple at what's that? D, D plus 3 the input uh, the first tube stage of the HO very small ripple but the uh, snubber capacitors seem to have cleaned up some of the noise that was present earlier in the voltage supply at this point Little little bump right there, where the, the power is flowing in. Okay, next up to have a look is the output of the first stage. First tube input is shorted to gram. Now, first thing you notice here is. The spikes are gone at the off switching transient points. No spikes. The only thing that's left is a little 120 hertz ripple and noise. So that's an improvement. Okay. Next output of the second gain stage. basically amplified version of what we just saw but again there's no spikes anywhere at the off switching points so the snubbers seem to have gotten rid of the spike transients that were showing up the output of the tubes all right moving on to the signal at the master volume I'm tapping the signal at the uh, the high, the first lug that's taking the signal from the tone stack. And again, no no uh, no spikes. This appears to be more granular because I think it's lost some of the high frequency through the tone stack that was there. Ah, here we can see something. A little, a little persistent jump. But I gotta say, it's much better than what it was. Yeah, just a little, a little bump instead of a spike. Maybe. And it's mostly even. You could say it's mostly uh, contained within the the range of the noise, so it's been reduced to about the same level as the noise. 
Okay, one last look here at um, I can find my jumper. My jumper seems to have run away. Um, at the signal the power resistor. Looking this up. Upcoming sections of the hunt here. I have acquired a, a choke and a separate heater transformer. So we'll be looking at that too. Okay, here's the output at the power resistor. And it looks just like the 120 hertz ripple with noise. I did a spectrum analysis of this too. Uh, these spectrum analyses take 40 minutes to run. I run them at the highest resolution. That's at three, three cycle re resolution. And the spectrum analysis turns out to be essentially the same as spectrum analysis without the snubber. So, whatever the snubbers take out, uh, the frequency is higher than 1000 Hz. Because the 60 cycle and 120 cycle and the rest of the harmonic spikes are, are essentially the same as they were without it, the snubber. Alrighty, that wraps up this section. Uh, and um, Thanks for watching.